Does the gentleman from Illinois rise? The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I was uh, proud to work with my colleagues on the committee in developing the uh, Cement Regulatory Relief Act. Let's just take a quick gander at what's happened here. Last September, the EPA released new regulations. That's kind of a theme we've been hearing a lot lately. New regulations on the American cement industry. These new requirements will cost $3.4 billion. It'll close 18 of America's 100 cement plants and leave 20,000 more Americans without jobs. In my district alone, the 11th Congressional District in Illinois, 155 companies use that cement daily. This is the same story, but just a little bit of a different subject. The same story of overregulation, more government, more rules, more paperwork, more disclaimers, more everything that people are sick of in Washington, D.C. This is just more of it. This is typical overregulation. Somebody comes up with an idea and says, what's the same thing to do here? Or what can we do that will way overstep the role of the federal government? Well, that's exactly what came down within the rules. All we want to do is give a little more time for the cement industry instead of saying, well, this is catching us flat-footed again. Eighteen of our plants are going to close. We're looking at this and saying, how can we keep these open and create jobs? There's been a lot of talk in, in this body, as there should be, about creating jobs, about the economy. Look, I'm 100% in. We want to create jobs. And so some of the things we see are, well, we need to spend additional federal government money, the size of, uh, we'll call it Stimulus 2. So we need to, i tell you what we need to do. The very first step to creating jobs in this country is to stop killing them. That would be a great move in the right direction. If we stop killing jobs, then we can regroup and say, now how can jobs be created in the private sector? But yet we continue on and on with more and more regulation. And we now hear the industry say, look, this is going to cost 20,000 jobs. It's your prerogative out of Washington, but this is going to cost us 20,000 jobs. This is typical federal government overregulation. We have a responsibility here to do the right thing. We have a responsibility to do the economically and environmentally sound thing. When this rule goes into effect, the same amount of cement is going to be needed. So it's not like we're closing 18 of 100 plants, so we're going to use 18 of 100 plants less worth of cement. We're still going to need to use that cement, right? In fact, in the, the stimulus, too, they talk about the fact of spending more on cement. Well, then, okay, so what happens is these plants close, and we have to buy that cement from China. This is a, you know what? This is a great bill, not the one where we're talking about saving jobs here, but if these rules go into effect, that'll be great for creating jobs in China. And China has zero environmental constraints like we have here in the United States. So what's the environmentally right thing to do? Keep these jobs in the United States where there are good environmental regulations in place. Take a look at what we need to do, but not send them over to a country that all they care about is pumping out cement and they care nothing about the environment. That's the responsible thing to do. This bill simply gives regulators the time to develop practical rules for cement manufacturing facilities, and it's going to protect jobs. The manufacturing industry, the construction industry, and all those areas, these jobs which are otherwise going to be sent overseas. Look, enough is enough. I mean, really, enough is enough. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, please just support this. This doesn't have to be a partisan thing. This is just for America. How are we going to create and save American jobs so that the families who every day wake up and say, I wonder if I can pay my bills next week. I wonder if I can make my house payment. I wonder if I can make my car payment. I wonder if I can send my kids to college. Some of those people that have those pains and wonder that every day work in the cement industry. And if these rules come into effect, that horror that they are predicting may happen, that they'll lose their job, will happen for 20,000 members and 20,000 citizens of the United States. I call for an end to the madness. Let's be sane about this, but let's finally, once and for all, save American jobs and then create them and do what we have to do to get this economy back to work. So I urge my colleagues to support this bill, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back. For what purpose does the gentleman from Missouri rise? Mr. Speaker, I move to strike.